Stay tuned, Didi. Because you don't want to ruin your marriage. You're freaking me out with that. That's got to go. He sleeps with that next to our bed. Not that I need it. Hey, what's up? It's HJ. And it's Roman. Today we're going to talk about ways to ruin your marriage. Number one! Ladies. Don't flush the toilet. What? Number one, okay? You're going to have to clean no matter what, okay? It's a part of your job that God gave you. Not your husband, not your mama, not anybody else. God gave you the job to be the manager of the home. You're going to have to Wait clean. Wait a minute. What God are we talking about? The God of the Bible. Oh, okay. You're gonna have to clean no matter what, so just do it with a smile on your face. Trust me, this will ruin your marriage because every time that you have to wash a sock or wash the dishes or wash the cat because she's nasty or like something crazy and you're just always huffing and puffing, you're making life miserable for everybody else around you in your path, in your wake. You're gonna have to do it anyways. Might as well just be like, okay, give me your socks. Let me wash them. Okay, there's more dishes again. Let me wash them because it's your job. So just don't make everybody else suffer because you hate your life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Evie. <laughs> Number two. Be gentle with your wife. Be gentle. Be gentle. With your wife. Why, babe, why? Because she's not a dude mm -hmm. and you're not her coach. Mm -hmm. You are her leader. Mm -hmm. You are, you are her leader and lover. And lover. And you need to help her follow Jesus lovingly, because that's how Jesus does it. It's true. And we need to be nice. That's real. Just you're not her coach. That, that's a good way to explain it. Thanks, babe. I appreciate that. You appreciate that, Evie. All right, number three, ladies. Do not try to be your husband's Holy Spirit. You're his wife, you're his helpmate, you're his lover. Not his mom. Not his mom, not his Holy Spirit. It doesn't mean you can't ever suggest that they could do something better or do something in a wiser way or possibly stop doing something. It doesn't mean just be silent and let your husband do 100% whatever he wants, even if he's about to walk off a bridge. Don't yell, hey, you're walking off a bridge and I love you enough to tell you. That's not what I mean. I just mean, you don't have to nag on them about everything they're doing wrong and just throw a little sprinkle of, I just want you to go on the Lord, just to make it seem like it's not nagging. But if you're not praying that the Holy Spirit changed their heart more than you're nagging on them, nothing's ever gonna change because you're human, I'm human, I can't change his heart, you can't change your husband's heart. Like, we're not the Holy Spirit, so don't try to be, you know? Number four way to ruin your marriage. Don't ever read with your wife. Don't ever pray with your wife. Don't ever be a Christian <laughs> with your wife. You gotta be a spiritual leader. And if you're not, it's going to tear you apart. Look, when you're single, yeah, it's easy to um, drift off, not read and stuff because it only affects you and you can kind of handle it or whatever. But when you're married, your sin and stuff doesn't only affect you anymore, it affects another person. That's true. So, yeah. And you're going to be accountable. For the Lord. Yep. Another one, lady. <clears throat> La ladies. <laughs> ladies. <laughs> Get so comfortable and never try to look sexy for your man. Look, let's just keep it real, okay? Duh, he loves you without your makeup and your dresses and your heel, like whatever is sexy to him. Yeah, he loves you without that. Obviously, he wouldn't have married you. Like you don't always have to test the unconditional love. <laughs> Never do your hair, never do your makeup, never look sexy, never put on anything nice, never put the new moves on your man, never make him feel like you're the only girl in the world. Uh, 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 nah, nah, uh, uh. Sometimes, so you know, put it on for him and just, you know, make him remember. Remember. You know what I'm saying? Who you are. <laughs> make him give you that hard eyes emoji, but in real life. Number six. Number six. How to ruin your marriage. Just focus on yourself. Yeah, that's a good way. How you feel, what you want, where you want to go, where you don't want to go, what you want to do, what you don't want to do, how you want to live, how you want to spend the money, how you want to live your life. Everything. All about you. And if you get in my way, you're going to feel my fury. I did a vlog about this. Go watch it. Link in the description. 
All right, and that was how to ruin your marriage part one. If you'd like a part two, make sure to put it in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to share, share, share on your social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everywhere. There's the internet because we need to get the word out about the vlog. You know what I'm saying? We need more subscribers. We need people. And to just, you, we, I need your help. So I can't do it all by myself, guys. I can't. And I don't have that much money for Facebook ads. Okay? Should I do it all by yourself? Doing your marriage? <laughs> Subscribe.